Hey everyone, it's Ryan here. Uh, so it's been a good few weeks since I last did a video like this. Uh, the last one being pretty much what this video is about. It's the 12 Days of Christmas Challenge from True Achievements for 2021. Um, so I actually finished this on the 15th of December. The only reason that I've not done a video up until now is because I was working for 10 days straight from the 14th of December to the 24th of December. Obviously yesterday was Christmas, today is Boxing Day. Um, so I've all had wanted to relax a bit and just, you know, be able to rest and then get around to probably making more videos and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm going to basically go over my 12 days. As you can tell, in the three weeks I've also shaved, that happened today. Uh, Christmas is over, it is gone. Um, anyway, so I'll go through the 12 days and I will basically tell you uh, what the challenge was for the day and then the achievement I unlocked in the games and stuff like that. Um, and then like I'll do like an overall review of that which I just took the longest and stuff like that. So, first one, uh, challenge one, optimised for the series, that is earn one achievement from a game optimised for the Xbox Series X slash S, so the next gen stuff. Um, I got first love in Forza Horizon 5, that is for buying your first car from the auto show, pretty much got that straight away, it's not too difficult to do, you yeah, know, kind of, you know, the easiest thing you can do is just buy a car and that's it. Um, challenge two was two grinding gears for two achievements flagged as stackable. Uh, what that means is um, it's something like a campaign based mission or basically ones you can get at the same time as each other. For example, um, let's say you're playing, I don't know, Call of Duty or something. I don't know why Call of Duty came to mind, but basically any campaign with a difficulty setting. Um, you can get the achievement just for completing the mission, but then you can also get an achievement for completing the mission on a certain difficulty. Um, and that's basically how it works. Um, I used Unravel 2 for this one because uh, the missions in that that I had left to do, I barely played Unravel 2. Um, I got Be Safe and uh, Don't Conform. They are basically completing two levels of the game. It takes about 25 minutes per level. Um, especially if you don't really know what you're doing as well. Probably takes a bit longer. Um, yeah, I, I was kind of happy that I managed to get that quicker because the rest of them were pretty much just complete this game on this difficulty, complete the campaign for this on this difficulty. I was like, I don't really want to spend a few days on a campaign, so luckily they were around. Um, three Challenge three, three nice pops, three achievements over a 3.0 ratio, uh, you know, 3.0, whatever. Um, I used Football Manager 2022 for this because a lot of them had very high ratios. And I was playing Football Manager 2022 a lot during that time. Uh, I got uh, Club Legend, Unlock All Job Applications, and Treasure Hunter. Um, I believe Club Legend was staying there for 20 years. Unlock All Job Applications was for switching to 10 different uh, like clubs to manage. Treasure Hunter, I cannot remember what that was for. I wish I could tell you, but I can't remember. Um, Challenge 4, again, was a bit easier to do. Uh, four high-res games, four achievements from a list of 4K games. Basically, most of the modern ones that have been optimised for 4K. I used Forza Horizon 5 again. Uh, manufacturer Affinity, uh, No Stone Unturned, uh, Ask Any Racer, Any... Something. Uh, it won't let me scroll across. It's always helpful. Um, well, Ask Any Racer something. And then Good Karma uh, with a C, because, you know, cars... <laughs> It would be a pun that I'd make. Uh, so yeah, that one was pretty easy to do. Um, challenge 5 was 5 hidden things for 5 collectible achievements. Um, so I used Forza Horizon 5 for an item of extreme value. I think that's probably for finding a certain amount of barn finds or something. Uh, in Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, uh, he's here, there, everywhere. It's for finding a Mr. Everywhere, which is like a little bobblehead. Um, and then in Halo the Master Chief Collection, I got Curious, Inquisitive, and Inspector for finding uh, terminals and certain levels. Um, yeah, that one's not uh, too difficult to do. Challenge 6 was 6 Can't Stop Co-op for um, one achievement from 6 different online co-op games. Luckily, you can play them solo. They've just got to have online co-op in them. So, uh, Far Cry 6 was the first one for at Can You Pet The Croc, which basically was a trend when Far Cry 6, the trailer came out. Basically there's a crocodile in there that belongs to one of the allies and you get to pet it. Um, 
shut down in Halo Master Chief Collection. I believe that was for finding another terminal as well. Uh, this is my rifle in uh, Sniper Elite 3. Uh, I was for getting a certain amount of kills with a rifle, I believe. Or I think you had to actually customize it. Like you had to uh, unlock like a you know like a different barrel or a magazine or whatever for it, and then do it that way. Uh, initiated in Mass Effect Andromeda, which I believe was for basically starting off the main mission. Um, a daily a day in Need for Speed Payback, uh, which was for doing a daily challenge. And then Cousins in, uh, I believe that's Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare. Um, I wish I remembered what I was for, but I honestly cannot remember. Um, it's been a while. Um, Challenge seven, seven game is counting, and seven achievements that contain at least one seven letter word. This one uh, took a about a day or so, I think, to do. This was where I started slowing down a little bit. Um, model test subject in Crash Bandicoot 4, uh, for a Forza addition to my collection. Uh, that one took a while for in Forza Horizon 5, you have to win a Forza edition car from a wheel spin. Um, Play five minutes in training mode, which was for a, I think I bought a football game. Yeah, I bought like a soccer game like a while back. Um, it, like, it was only like one pound 20 or something, so that's why I got it. Um, all bases covered uh, in FIFA 15, which is for doing all the training sessions. And then caravan mode, 40,000, 80,000 and 120,000, which was for Academia Geo Samurai Showdown. Uh, challenge 8, uh, I was talking with a friend about this the day before, that there was bound to be a spelling achievement and I couldn't figure out what the word was going to be. Turns out it's challenge 8 for a uh, spell Yuletide using first character of achievements. So basically, first achievement has to start with Y, second one with U, third with L, so on until you spell Yuletide. Um, so, Halo Master Chief Collection, you're no chips, it's an easter egg in Halo 3 or 4 I believe. Um, Mirror's Edge, up, over, under, onwards. Uh, you have to string certain like parkour moves. So I think you have to basically like vault, crouch, slide, roll, or something like that. Um, Law of Gravitation in Sega Vintage Collection Golden Axe. In each one, you have to throw someone off a cliff. Uh, end of the line, uh, spelled with yeah, L E I N because it's German, you have to kill. Uh, in Sniper Elite 3. Um, I think this one's called There's Always Money Involved um, in Forza Horizon 5, Icebreaker in Forza Horizon 5, uh, Dam Buster in Halo Master Chief Collection, and then Expert Treasure Hunter in um, The Legend of Van Helsing. Oh no, not The Legend, The Adventures of Van Helsing, sorry. Um, oh no, it's called The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing. Um, Challenge 9, 9 multi genres, 9 achievements from 2 games with at least 2 genres. Um, this one I pretty much just used, uh, what did I use? I think it's Halo. For some reason it's, oh no, it is Halo, yeah. Sorry, that one actually scrolled across, so that's why I can tell what it was, because it was showing the picture. Uh, Halo Master Chief Collection, Scavenger Hunt, Composer, Checkmate, Midnight, Countdown, Librarian's Gift, Herald of Reclaimed, Sharon Hakar, and... Uh, Justice. I think I pretty much just played like the Halo 4 campaign to do that one. Um, challenge 10. Uh, this one actually did take a while because of the challenge itself. Uh, 10 achievements that start with the. And there are some games where every achievement is the something and luckily I found one towards the end but I had a lot of achievements in it. And then some of the others it was like I'd already done the majority of them and the rest were like super rare to get. Uh, so in Halo Master Chief Collection, The Will of the Prophets and The Coin's Fault, in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, The Hidden City, uh, in Worms WMD, The Worm That Turned, in Sniper Elite 4, The Path of Most Resistance, uh, in New Speed Shift Unleashed 2, that, like that's how far back I had to go for it, uh, The Driver's Battle, I remember for that one you have to drive an entire race in the cockpit view, like with a helmet. Um, not just the usual one where you can see the steering wheel, like you have to have the helmet visor as well. Uh, and then Fable 2, I believe, I originally installed Fable 3 for this one, then realized it was two hours after. Uh, the Party Animal, the Goth, the Minister Society, and the Property Magnate. 
Um, yeah, uh, Fable 2 is one of those games where every achievement is the something, so luckily I did find that. Um, challenge 11, uh, 11 looters looting, 11 achievements from games tagged Dungeon Crawler or Role Playing. Uh, luckily I didn't actually do much in The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing and actually started to enjoy that game and actually started playing through it. Uh, I got Let Loose the Ghost of something, it's just got dot dot dot. Um, Junkie, Coil Collector, Monster's Bane, Viva La Resistance, Smuggler, Explorer, Hijacker, Ink Master, um, Fool Negator, Fuel Negator, I don't know, and uh, What's in the Bag. Um, they were all part of the Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing. Pretty much finished that story. I had fun with that one. There's a few achievements left to get. Some of them difficulty based. I'm not really going to touch it. And then finally, day 12, which is what... Uh, this one actually didn't take too long to do. Because, um, like I said, like the nice thing about this one was it wasn't game or achievement specific. It was literally just any achievement, any game. Just follow this one. Uh, 12 achievements with each one being at least 0.2 ratio higher than the previous. So I got Block Master in Prince of Persia, Deflect Master also in Prince of Persia, uh, Better with Friends in Crayola Scoot, Silent but Deadly in Sniper Elite 4, Before and After in Halo Master Chief Collection, Tourist Attraction in Forza Horizon 5, Prestigious PP in Dead Rising 2 Off the Record, Get to the Chopper in Overcooked 2, Skull Taker Halo Combat Evolved, I think it was Pinata I got uh, in Halo Master Chief Collection. This one's for you, Paul, in Moto Racer 4. I Ain't No Butterfingers in Overcooked 2. And then Two Drivers, One Car in Trapmania Turbo. Um, so yeah, that is all 12 done. Took me uh, essentially two weeks to do that. Again, had a lot of fun with that. I believe this is actually the fifth one I've done. I think I said in the previous video it's the fourth one I've done. It's actually the fifth one. Um, I've completed all five. Um, like I said, I had a lot of fun with it. I do like the challenge of like doing something specific to get the achievements, and also it gives me a reason to play games that I've just had sat on the backlog, just not actually got around to. Like I said, Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing being one of them. Overcooked 2 I got back into, Sniper Elite 3, Sniper Elite 4. Um, you know, started playing a bit more Halo Master Chief Collection. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much been the 12 days. Like I said, I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, the link to my True Achievements profile will be in the description, so if you want to see what I've been up to lately and the achievements I've been unlocking, you can check it there. Um, I have also this year managed to reach 550,000 game score before the end of the year, uh, even before Christmas. Um, I've also uh, started recently playing Rio. I need to get myself some more Xbox 360 controllers because it's reverse compatible on Xbox One. The only problem with that is Xbox One controllers won't connect unless you're signed in. Um, so I'm basically going to see about trying to get some 360 controllers for the sake of that one. I'm, I'm going to see if anyone's got any like a borrow or something like that. Um, so yeah, uh, other than that, um, that's pretty much the 12 days over. It took me two weeks to do. Like I said, I apologise it took so long to get back to it, but again, really busy work schedule. And yeah, you know, that's pretty much how it is. Um, I'm going to do a sort of like end of year slash end of December achievement and game score recap. Uh, do like some sort of highlights of the year when the new year keeps around. Uh, I think I was going to do another video as well, but I forgot. So for now, it's just going to be this one. If I do remember the other one, it will be on shortly after this one. But uh, thank you for watching this one. Apologies for being away for a couple of weeks. I'm probably going to look at streaming a game tomorrow because I'm off work tomorrow. Um, don't know what yet, but I'll figure out something. Uh, and again, thank you for watching this, and I'll see you in the new one. I hope you had a good Christmas. I hope you have a very happy new year.